week ago you said to me, do you believe I'll never be too far? Hello and welcome to Lazy Broadcast News for January 2016. My name is Callum. And I'm Jake. LBM is our fra- flagship program here at WLTS. And today we'll be taking a look at what's going on in and around Lacey Township High School and the surrounding community. Later on in the show, we'll see some balling basketball footage. And we will, we will then Van Gogh down to the art room for an exciting profile on the art program. But first, let's flash on down to photography with Mr. Moore for a snapshot of what their program has to offer. Hey, how you doing? I'm Jonathan Moore. I'm the digital photography teacher here at LTHS. Uh, And basically, we have photography levels one, two, three, and four. Uh, For photography one, it's basically an intro. Students come in. They learn how to use digital SLR cameras. They learn how to use the functions. They learn about aperture, shutter speed, how to control the basic settings. Also, we go over composition and how to incorporate the elements of art as as well as the principles of design. Um, From there, we work with a little bit of Photoshop, um, but not too much, especially not in the introductory class. Next, we have Photography 2, where students start to graduate. They start to incorporate the things that they've learned from Photography 1 and incorporate it into their projects a little bit more, um, and really just kind of like honing in on their skills. Photo 2 is a little bit more Photoshop intensive. Uh, A lot of the projects, you know, have a lot of post-editing going on to them, as opposed to Photo 1, where the students really learn how to create effects using the camera itself. Um, Once they get past that, if they enter into photo three or photo four, at that point, they're basically at a level of independent study. Um, So it's pretty cool. You know, I suggest that everybody should get into photography. Photography is still art, it's just a different medium. You know, so I suggest that you wanna come in, you wanna hang out have a good time we you know we incorporate all the stuff you know all the all the new age all the new age stuff you know the kids they like the cell phones you know so we incorporate our cell phones uh you know we have apps that we use such as visco it's kind of like an instagram but it's more so you know art driven it's based on you know basically just strictly for photographers and or you know artists I'm Jonathan Moore, digital photography teacher. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. If I don't have you this year, I hope that I have you next year. And if I already have you, I'll see you later. That was really great. I would love to go and learn some more. But before you go anywhere, Cal, let's show our way to the gym to see what the basketball team is laying up. Five seniors have been playing with each other since we were in third grade. Um, the junior and senior team have probably been playing together since about seventh grade, and I would say we're we have a lot of chemistry. We're, we work very well together. All right, well, thank you for the interview. Right? No problem. It's chemistry. You think we were in science class? It's pretty good. We have a very nice outside jump shot. Uh, Three points are often falling because of our leading scorer, Jamie Harlan. Um, I think the team has a lot of potential. We work really hard. Um, one of our downfalls is we're a very short team. Our tallest player is about 5'8", so rebounding is definitely one of our weak points. And we got some tough games in there, some tough opponents. And we got two wins on the season so far, it's still a little bit early. Uh, we try not to turn the basketball over, get some good boxing out, hard defense, move the ball up the court, put it in the basket.
wow, Ball really is life from this project from me and Anthony DePinto. Maybe I should start. It looks like a dunktacular time. Well, Calum, I could really go for some Dunkin' Donuts after seeing that. Maybe the art room has some. Let's take a look. I'm Mrs. Hoffman. I am the art teacher here at Lacey High School. It is my second year. Um, the classes I teach are Fine Art 1, Fine Art 2, Fine Art 3, Fine Art 4, which is AP um, art this year, and I teach ceramics and sculpture also. Hi, I'm Justina Tolino, and this is supposed to be a heart teapot. Um, there's going to be a handle that comes around the front, and this is going to be the spout where the water comes out. This is my project, Brody Dale. She's pretty punk. Miss Hoffman was nice enough to buy micron pens for it. We went to Cape May Zoo and um, we took pictures of the animals and like the landscape. And for my artwork, I combined um, a few of the pieces that I did. Friday, February 5th, we're having a ceramic show. It's going to be in the library from 6 to 7.30 and it's free. So I hope anyone that would like to come see the students' artwork can try to attend and support the ceramics program. Thank you. Working on my watercolor series, that's, trying, that's what I'm trying to focus on because I like them the best because I usually make tropical things and my favorite things are paint. For ceramics, we're all working on teapots, and I started it out as a pinch pot, and I've been sculpting it in the Mrs. Pots and um, Chip. Yeah. And now, right now, I'm underglazing um, the colors, and then I, once we fire it, I will uh, glaze it so it will have that glassy look to it. Well, unfortunately, there weren't any donuts there, but I'm sure, was, I'm sure that was a colorful clip. Well, I guess it's time to wrap it up. Thanks for watching Lacey Broadcast News for January 2016. I'll see you next time. See your face again.